Remember when you were little and people asked you to stop doodling and focus? Remember how others used to try and crush your creativity? Well, not today. We're challenging amazing artists to flex their creative muscles and take doodling off the page. We're going big. We're going small. We're coloring outside the lines. And each episode, whoever wows our judges the most will win $5,000 in cash and prizes. The competition is fierce. And these challenges are out of this world. Two will enter the battleground, but only one will leave victorious. I'm your host, Paul Costabile, and this is Doodle Wars. Let's meet our Doodle Warriors. Welcome. Thank you. You made it. I made it. My name is Jason Chatfield. I am a cartoonist and a comedian, and I'm from Australia. Hello. Welcome. My name is Hilary Campbell, and I am a cartoonist. I'm here to start the fun. Well, <laughs> welcome to Doodle Wars. How are you feeling today? Almost too excited, you know? Yeah. I am slightly less excited than <laughs> Hillary. <laughs> Most people are. Well, listen, before you guys can enter the doodle war, you must make your doodle warrior avatars. These are basically personal interpretations of yourselves. We are not judging you this round, so have fun with it. This is just so Ooh. we get to know you guys as artists, as personalities. So the only rule is you have 15 minutes to complete this. Oh my okay? God. Okay. okay. Ready, set, go! All right. I don't know why I went around the chair. <laughs> All right. Uh, Okay. About four years ago, I kind of like quit my nine to five job and was like, I'm gonna be a cartoonist. <laughs> Am I allowed to erase? I think my drawing style is pretty simple. I just like white paper, black lines, and I'm pretty minimalist. My inspiration usually just comes from my real everyday life. I think everyday life is funny already. I definitely do a lot of dog humor. I think it's funny when dogs talk, or any animal talks, really. So I was just always sort of drawing since I was a kid. Oh, man. And my grandpa was actually golfing buddies with Charles Schultz, so I just grew up with like all these original Schultz cartoons around the house, and I learned to draw by copying all of his work. This is just what I wish I looked like. <laughs> I do feel like a grown-up Charlie Brown half the time. Most of the time. <laughs> Are you laughing at your own drawings? It's coming out funny, it's good. <laughs> My style is kind of a mix of a whole bunch of different styles. It's uh, things like Warner Brothers and Disney and Ren and Stimpy and The New Yorker and Mad Magazine. It's kind of them all mushed together. <laughs> I got started drawing and doodling when I was a kid. I grew up in a little town in the middle of the desert called Karatha in Western Australia. So there wasn't a lot to do. So I would just sit on the floor and scribble all day and did nothing else for my entire childhood. And then just went from a hobby into a job. Are you using layers with yours? No, you know, I'm not a fan. I just... It's tricky. I always get inspiration from other cartoonists. Like every single place I look seems to be like a new style or a new cartoonist doing something new. There is a brush called Blotchy, which is perfect for my skin. <laughs> so I write and draw a comic strip called Ginger Megs, which goes out to 120 newspapers in 34 countries every day. And it's kind of like a, an Australian version of Dennis the Menace, but it's been going since 1921. So he's a little bit older than Dennis. Oh, see, you did color. Well, that's what I thought was the thing. Oh. It seems like someone's gonna figure it out one day. They're gonna be like, are we paying this guy money? He seems to enjoy what he does. Can we cut that off? Uh, I wanna see yours, can we see yours? Yes. <laughs> this is great. It's a self-portrait. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know, I'm just gonna have fun and uh, hopefully get a bunch of money for having fun. <laughs> Five, four, three, Two, one, pens down. Done. All right, good job, you guys. Just leg like, up. You know Just come on over here, line up, and meet your judges. All right. He's the creative genius behind Ink Outside of the Box right here on Blueprint. It's John Chad. Hi. Hello. She is a designer and illustrator and teaches at universities and on our YouTube, it is Zoe Hung. Hey, Hi, party Zoe. people. Hello. 
Okay, guys, great job with these avatars. Let's start with you, Hillary. Tell us about your Doodle Warrior avatar. Um, I just drew myself with better hair. Um, and then she's queen of denial. Okay. <laughs> I really appreciate the denial and yeah. the way you... It's a fun pun. It is a good pun. <laughs> I see your human expression next to that. Like, can you just match like, that face like... for us? Yeah, oh, well, it is her. <laughs> yeah. Cool, it looks just like you. All right, Jason, tell us about your Doodle Warrior avatar. Uh, well, I, I have silly eyebrows, and I think that's probably, and big ears, so I feel like I've been both kind and mean to myself at yeah. the same time. Is this facial expression that you've drawn how you feel about being on the show? Like Absolutely. <laughs> A thousand percent, yes. <laughs> Nervous. Yeah, um, we could put you next to that in a lineup and we'd be able to match them up. Hey, <laughs> that's, that's his mugshot. That's his mugshot right there. Have you seen this? Right this? <laughs> you seen this <laughs> well, listen, guys, now that you made your Doodle Warrior avatars, it is time for the Doodle Wars. Bing, ding, gong, da. Hillary, Jason, you guys are perfect for our Doodle War today because you have to make three panel comics. Oh. oh. Yeah. I think I could do it. It's my only employable skill. Well, any good story has a beginning, a middle, and an end. Three parts to the story, three panels to tell that story with images and text if you choose. Your comics will be judged on how well it tells a story, originality of visual style, and emotional impact. Any emotional impact works, okay? We want to feel something from these three panels, okay? Okay. Feel it, okay. And remember guys, the winner is going to leave here with $5,000 in cash and prizes. I Wait, need that. did you that. know about this? I need that. This is a well-paying gig for one of you today. The other one's working on spec, it's fine. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna give you 60 minutes to create your three panel comics, okay? Okay. You can use any supplies you find right over there in the art armory. All right, let the doodle war begin! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. And there they go. I don't know. You look like a mad scientist. Is this for you know? liquids? So we have two expert cartoonists here. This is their wheelhouse. What are you guys thinking about that? I'm gonna be looking to see not only how they draw the comic, but how do they compose and construct the comic. So I'm gonna be really looking at like the minutia of how they're making the comic. You got a comic laser lens on for this. I like it. He's checking everything, guys. Watch out, John is watching. What am I gonna do? Zoe, how are you feeling? Well, I will be looking at things like line quality, color usage, and also, I love reading comics, so just the enjoyability of the story and whether I can get it. I don't want to make it too complicated. If you have to explain it to someone, you didn't do it right. Here we go. Okay. What are you doing? I don't know. I'm just trying it out. I'll stop criticizing you. No! <laughs> so Hillary focuses on line work. It looks over there like she only has black markers and mm -hmm. black pens, so it looks like she's going to take her avatar style and translate it into her three panels. Ooh. And Jason is working with a lot of color. His avatar was very colorful. When you're making a comic, John, do you pre-sketch or do you trace on a, uh, immediately? What do you do? I typically do small drawings of them. I draw it fast, I draw it loose. If I make a mistake, I just cross it out. So yeah, I, I sketch it before I move on to my final piece of paper. I can't even believe you're using paint. It's like, I'm, I, I can't think you're crazy. Paint. I'm using a little bit more paint than I probably need to be using. I could have just done it with a straight line, but I wanted to kind of show off a little bit, which I think got me into trouble. I may bail out at the last second. I think you've gone rogue and you've totally lost it. I think I may have lost it. <laughs> okay. I'm torn on ideas. Right, I'm gonna go check in and see what stories these guys are telling and what they're up to, okay? Cool. All right, all right. fine. Okay. Hillary, how's Hi. it going? Well, I don't know. Well, okay. first of all, what story are you starting to okay. tell here? I have some other ideas, but I think that it's gonna be a little girl who's just got her ice cream cone. I see she's this. She's pretty excited about it. This is basically the storyboard here, right? Yes. And then she's like with her, we'll call her the nanny, who's like got coffee in her phone. Distracted just, nanny. Yeah, distracted nanny. I like that character. Hmm. What's the inspiration behind this? Uh, I was once a distracted nanny. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna say I lost my ice cream once and I never no. forgot it. No, I was on the other end of things. Okay. Hillary, this story looks great. Everything's looking awesome. Thank Good you. luck. 
What's happening, Jason? Hello. Tell us about the story you're telling. I see it. Is that a dog? You know, like when uh, mountain climbers and explorers would go hiking and stuff, and there was like an avalanche, they would send out these dogs and they would have a little barrel around their neck. So, and I'm not gonna ink the letters until. I just the read. Variant. I'm not gonna say what. I like. I like the punchline though. I like okay. it. You're on a good track right now. It I looks mean, really good. In 30 minutes, by the way. Okay, great. How are you feeling on time? You I'm nervous. I'm yeah. nervous. I'm getting about more time. <laughs> Give me more time. I need more time. You know what? I would love to, but here on Doodle Wars, we are down to the final second. Like any good war. Yeah. In the Doodle world. Yeah. All right guys, so I learned a lot. And clearly with these two, the emotional response is comedy, is humor. That's you? Yeah, sure, yeah, of course it is. <laughs> it's fun seeing these two creating that story and that's a big part of this. Oh, he's now putting the panels up. It's starting to tell Ooh. the story a little bit. I totally, I know I'm just uh, transfixed right now by the lines that Jason mm. is uh, putting in the background to, to indicate mountains. Mm. Uh, that's such a great trick in comics, mm. right? Just just a few details, the snow in the foreground and the mountains in the background, and we're suddenly transported to the Himalayas or something. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take a lot. Right. You know, five lines and suddenly we're there. I will say though that I do not like the composition of like how that mountain just goes over the curve of the word balloon. It's like, mm, just, yeah, you should have just cut behind it. Hillary does a really good job of telling a mood and a vibe of a character really quickly with the shape of them. Yes. I love the acting of the characters so far. Even if we were to make them the same height, I would be able to tell who's the child and who's the adult, right? The adult is stiff and constrained. While the child is looser, she's freer, her arms at her sides. The second panel is everything. <laughs> that face. Meanwhile, Jason is like continuing to add different elements. This is gonna be really tough to judge and really tough to pick a winner, like super tough. I noticed when I talked to Hillary, she was like, she made her ice cream cone pink, and mm -hmm. then now I see no pink. Maybe she'll add some color at the final minutes here too. Yeah, I, maybe she lost the flavor. She just wanted to be <laughs> up to the audience. Yeah, with something like this, if you were to just have one little thing that was color, it would really be, look at this thing. This is the most important thing in your life right now. Yeah. One minute, one minute, 60 seconds. Do you think? I don't know. You don't have to answer the question. Oh, there's only one minute. Should I make it pink? Yes. Okay. <laughs> thousand percent yes. <laughs> yes. Ten. Oh. Nine. Okay. Oh oh my God. Eight. <laughs> seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Stop your doodling. Wow. Great job, Woo! guys. Great job. All right, Hillary. Hello. Hi. Great job. Well, thank you. Tell us about your comic. It's about a little girl that drops her ice cream, and she's with, well, it's a nanny who's kind of distracted. And when she starts to cry about her spilled ice cream, instead of the classic, use your words, she, a millennial, says, use your emojis. That's how she gets it across. Well, they do look great, all three of them. Thank you. Let's hear what the judges have to say. John, oh, how you feeling? You have this great sense of timing, and it really helps with the story and the comedy. You know, one of the magical things about comics is that our mind connects the images together. Mm -hmm. um, and you've given us little breadcrumbs to indicate how much time is passing between each of these moments. Mm -hmm. I love your very simple style, mm. um, but we have no sense of setting. Just a couple of lines for a sidewalk yeah. or a couple of lines to indicate a grassy path and we'd have just a little bit more context. No, you're right. Thoughts, Zoe, on Hillary's comic? The usage of the pink, there's just the one spot of color and so of course our eye gravitates towards that color. And so I love that you added this like messy scribble of pink to really follow the ice cream. Yeah. And then follow how it melted. Yeah. <laughs> They liked the color. It was so last minute, and I'm so happy that I asked for Jason's opinion on that. I'm really loving all three of your panels. Thank you. Awesome work, Hillary, and good luck. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. 
<laughs> Jason. Hello. Hey, how hey. you doing, man? I'm pretty good. Tell us about this comic. Well, it's the classic trope of the rescue dog in the snow. So the guy has been covered in some kind of avalanche in a snowstorm, and then the classic rescue dog, he has a warm beverage around his neck, but the guy is excited to see the dog. However, he's a very fussy guy. So Thanks, but I'm more of an IPA guy. <laughs> more of a chocolate milk guy. More of a chocolate milk guy. And he's brought orange juice. All right, judges, how are we feeling, John? This for me is a great example of an environment. You know, a background is something that goes behind us, but an environment is something that we live in. And just having the snow in the front be a little bit darker than the mountains in the back gives this a lot of depth. These faces <laughs> are everything. Oh boy. But there are a couple things. The composition on the third panel. Oh, that killed me. <laughs> <laughs> that mountain, oh, it's gonna be in the my dreams. The mountain is fighting with the sides of the panel and your speech bubble. I knew but what you, I'd done. You knew, you, you know what's going on in that corner, yeah. 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 It, it is really fun to look at, which, you know, you want a comic to be. That's good. Well, thank you, Jason. Great work. In a few moments, we'll find out if you are the gentleman in panel one or the gentleman <laughs> in panel two. Oof, judges. This is gonna be a really tough one. Yeah. You have to decide who won our doodle war and who's going home with $5,000 in cash and prizes, okay? Do we have to? You have to for this one. <laughs> judges, have you reached a decision together? Yeah. This Kinda. was a tough one. This was super tough. All right. Judges, who is the champion of the Doodle War? This one was so tough. But the winner is... Hillary. Hey. Oh! Wow. <laughs> Thank you! Look at you! <laughs> well deserved. Thank you! I won! I'm so happy! I'm just like, I'm startled. Hillary asked me if she should use pink, and I said yes, of course, which I think lost me the match, because <laughs> it's perfect. The tiny thing that edged Hillary ahead was that we got an emotional gut reaction at every panel, and that was just the, the tiny little that pushed Hillary ahead. Congratulations. Right. Congratulations, Hillary. You're going home with $5,000 in cash and prizes. Pretty you are our Doodle War champion. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Remember to keep flexing those artistic muscles because you never know when a Doodle War might break out. You don't. Now that you've seen our doodles, we want to see yours. Use the hashtag Doodle Wars and I am a Doodle Warrior and share your doodles that were inspired by this challenge.